Hey there everyone I am here at this place in Sandakan for my breakfast and I'm going a little fancy today I'll be having breakfast over here English Tea House and Restaurant this is the place to be because I'm need, I want to go somewhere else after I'm done with my breakfast so yeah, over there you guess you can see below there there is Sandakan town so I'm quite close to the town Ooh, look at the sea, I love the sea. It's nice. Well, I'm waiting for my food. Uh, I decided to have a walkabout later. Then yeah, we shall go somewhere else after that. Okay, my food is here. So this is breakfast. It's currently 10 o'clock in the morning. So this restaurant is... Uh, English tea house and restaurant is located at a little hill facing as you can see just now facing the sea and I'm here to try out the afternoon tea but it's in the morning but it's okay they still have provide so there's cakes and sandwiches and scone this costs 50 ringgit for two actually but it's just me alone so and a pot of uh, sabah tea. Ooh. Okay, so now it's time for me to eat and enjoy my food. I'll be back. Terima kasih. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with breakfast and now I'm going to where I actually want to go okay I've gotten the tickets and it costs two ringgit not bad not too shabby two ringgit for me to go into Agnes Keith house opening hours is from 9 to 5 9 to 5 Okay. Oh. Sandakan Heritage Trail. One of the American writers is Agnes Keith in Sandakan. She and her family resided from 1934 to May 1942. In 1934, Agnes wed Henry Josh Keith. Josh Keith? In Los Angeles, after which the two of them traveled by ship to Sandakan Sabah, Agnes writes extensively on Sandakan, its residents, and her family. The articles, written articles were then submitted to the American Journal Atlantic Monthly. The book Land Below the Wind, a compilation of all the essays he had ever written, was released from this in 1939. Hmm, okay, interesting. Let's go. Oops. Okay. I like the garden. Let's go in or shall we walk out first? Very famous, it's very, uh, very kind. This is outside, there's a garden over here. Oh, this is the way to go in. Are you here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Berikan pada awak ya? Ah, uh, tidak. Oh. Uh, lubang, lubang. Ah? Oh, okay, okay. Ah, terima kasih. Kalau buka kasut ya? Yeah. Okay, take off your shoe. Oops. Oh. Okay, terima kasih. Oops. Hmm. Ah, oh, I like this house. 
So when you enter, you need to give them the to give them the ticket and for them to punch hole. This is nice. Uh, I guess this must be George Brown and Cello Brown in Newlands, December. Is this the house? Oh, it is. Yeah. So nice. Look at this Sandakan, 1940. Okay, Agnes Keith House, a little history about this. Formerly known as the Newlands, it's a historic house museum in Sandakan, Sabah, Malaysia. The museum is named after Agnes Newton Keith, an American author known for her three autobiographical accounts of life in British North Borneo. Hmm. Okay, the house is already constructed on the hill in the current site of the house as British colonial government quarters. She must have really liked here. Okay. Let's go. Look at the chairs. The old school radio. Donated by Tina Rima, two thousand one. Okay. Look at the old school radio. Look at this residential area, Sandakan, nineteen thirty five thirty six. Nice. Sandakan, Puswa Sandakan Market. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this is the dining dining air dining table. Fancy they make of wood. Those are the good old days. Everything lasts. Look at the fridge. This is an old school fridge. I'm sure you cannot open. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, you can open the fridge. See? Kel Kelvinator. Oh, the brand. Kelvinator. Oopsie. Look at the brand. Kelvinator. Oh, this must be the living room. See, the chairs are all made from wood, which lasts so much longer. Huh, look at this. Gramophone. Cute, huh? Gramophone. Ah, look at the old phone, huh? Seriously, the phone is like that. What happened to the rest of it? Okay, let's go up. Ah, Agnes Newton Keith. So these are all her books, Children of a World, The Atlantic, Before the Blossom Fall, Life and Death in Japan, Beloved Exiles. I was very sad to leave after 18 years. 1952, Henry Keith took up a job as a forestry advisor with the United Nations in the Philippines. Thereby, necessitating a move from British North Borneo, where he had served for 27 years. Oh, this is the bathroom. See, the tub still lasts till today. The 
the house before and during conservation. Let's see now. The book room. Uh, this is like a study room. They call it a book room. Henry George Keith. That's the husband. Agnes Emma George Agnes Emma George and Harry Keith at home in Victoria Do not touch all this <laughs> Oh look at this phone Oh, the typewriter and sewing machine British made of course Remington British made and this is Vikers British made Vikers sewing machine oh, you can still see Study room. What else? Uh, this must be the bedroom. Just a simple house. A study room. The bedroom. The bedroom is the place. Is the next place of importance. Like a sheep bench by a tight tight. Our bed stand in the middle of our bedroom floor. All the other pieces of furniture have washed away from it to the outer edges of the room where they will not intercept any breeze. We made our bed and we certainly like to lie in it. Six, six foot six both ways it is made of bony and heavy timber from the book land below the wind hmm nice ah clothes again look at the quality of the cupboard that lasts till now all the clothing Uh, there's a bathroom over there. Anything here? Another bathroom over here. See, even during those times, master bedroom have a bathroom. I think that must be the balcony to go. It's a place. This room is big. Bedroom is huge. Place to sit. To just chill. And of course, you must have the makeup table, dressing table. And this is the bed. Hmm. Simple one bedroom. But lots of windows. There's one over here. One over there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The room must be very bright. Eight windows. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice the light, the chandelier, or the lamp. It's quite low. Maybe in the olden days, people were not so tall. Alright, I'm done for Keith, Agnes Keith's house.